Hi, my name is Abu Rehan Abbasi. I have nearly 10 years of work experience, almost all of it outside India. Currently, I am a PhD candidate at IMB in the strategy area. When I was working, I observed and experienced that foreign firms in the local market often delivered lower than expected performances, which motivated my research interests. In my dissertation, I primarily investigate what relationship internationalization has with firm performance and whether it leads to an improvement. I also focus on how key differences among firms in strategy, industry and corporate governance influence the relationship. Working on these aspects led me to another question, seldom studied, but of utmost significance for management scholars. How institutional transition, driven by corporate governance and internationalization related reforms, influences the evolution of corporate ownership networks. In 2021, global trade and FDI were around 30 trillion US dollars, significant contributors to the world's GDP. Managers need to be aware of the expected performance outcomes of internationalization and how different factors can either enhance or weaken performance. The factors that I investigate, manufacturing and services, product diversification strategies, family and business group ownership structures are widely popular in India and several other parts of the world. Similarly, corporate ownership networks are of immense significance since they govern the distribution of resources and opportunities and therefore the firm's behavior. Relative to previous research, my study is novel on several accounts. First, from a methodological viewpoint, I conduct a highly robust study. There were methodology and data related concerns for nonlinear relationships in past studies, which I overcame to a great extent using new tools and techniques. Second, I investigate the impact of the simultaneous pursuit of internationalization and product diversification, including its types on firm performance, while accounting for the role of industry differences. Earlier studies in this domain looked at these strategies in silos, focusing on the manufacturing industry and seldom differentiating between the types of diversification. My findings provide valuable new insights that services firms are better off pursuing the two strategies simultaneously, unlike manufacturing firms. Third, while examining the role of business group affiliation and family ownership, my key findings indicate that internationalization can be beneficial or detrimental for affiliated firms depending on the levels of family ownership. As such, my research provides new insights that both a U and an inverted U relationship can exist over the same stages of internationalization. To my knowledge, this is the first documentation of such a phenomena in the domain. Finally, my study on corporate ownership networks is among the pioneering efforts to examine the evolution of ownership networks in the international business and strategy domain. It is also the first to document the evolution of the small world characteristics of the ownership network for firms in India.